Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius will start with the main energy here. The main energy is be true to you and finances. Okay, so some of you, you. I don't know if you're trying to please other people, if you're trying to fit in, if you're not trying to stand out, if you don't want to be seen, if you do want to be seen, if you, it's just something where you're kind of conforming or you're really um, not going after what it is you really want, or you just not comfortable in it or presenting it to the world, whatever it may be. Um, but the cards are asking you to be true to you. That's the only way you're going to find true happiness, okay? True contentment, uh, complacency. Um, and it's okay to be complacent in yourself, right? Finances doesn't mean that things are going bad for you in terms of your finances. It just means that finances is highlighted right now. It could mean that you have really good uh, finances. They're coming in, going out. You're taking care of things. This card can be indicative of maybe looking at your expenses. How much are you spending each and every month, every week? Put yourself on a budget so that you can save or have money to do. You fill in the blank, whatever it is you want to do. But you need to look at your finances. This could even indicate paying off debts or debts being paid off. Um, this could also uh, just indicate um, it's a good time to even ask for a raise or a promotion some of you are starting a new business so maybe your finances are going into that new business here maybe your finances are kind of tied up in the new business for some of you it's asking that you reduce your expenses look at you know things budget right um it's also asking you to um have caution in terms of who you go into business with or sign an agreement with uh express some caution there or express your concerns um this could even talk about an inheritance winning a settlement oh an investor and just a favorable outcome for you all together something about graduation this could even mean graduation in terms of you finally graduating into a place of being mature enough to really um govern your finances accordingly maybe in the past there were some losses um, you just weren't mature enough to handle the money. It just, you know, it, it flew through your fingers. So um, some of you are graduating in that way, okay? So that looks good for you. In terms of love, you have um, the more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give to others. So some of you need to take some time and really start to love yourself. What does that mean? Because it sounds so cliche, right? Love yourself. I do love myself. That's what you say. That's what we all say, right? But we really have to delve into that. Like, what does that mean in terms of loving, you know, yourself? Um, what I would say is get a journal and write down all the ways you've shown love to other people. So whether it was buying them things, taking them out, cooking meals or helping them around their home or anything you you did to show um, your love your gratitude your appreciation for that particular person whether it was romantic or platonic familiar whatever once you get your list going then you need to start doing all of those things that you were doing for other people for yourself so show yourself that love pour back into you um, even if it was just affirmations, you know, affirmations that you give to other people, you're so smart, you're so pretty, you're this, whatever, start to pour that back into yourself. So get your list happening. Let me know how that works out for you guys. If you start your list, let me know how it works out. Let me know if you're going to start your list. Go ahead and write down in the comment section. I'm gonna start my list today so you can start to pour more love into yourself, right? Um, so we can make these readings real because we can throw around a whole bunch of phrases and cliches. And it just sounds good, but what do, how do you really do it? Right? So we have something, we have homework. All right. So 
get to it, right? Uh, what do you need to release, Aquarius? Okay, so this card could uh, talk about doing maybe the soul work. This also talks about maybe definitely honing in on you. This isn't really an energy of um, everybody else or, or someone else, some particular person. Though in a, in a bit, it can um, indicate that because it could indicate that some situation that you're inquiring about is in its winter or autumn phase meaning it's in the regeneration phase it's kind of cold you're trying to heat it back up this could mean a relationship friendship um family romantic how, whatever however so but it's in the phase of maybe you guys are releasing the old and you're starting something new you're going to regenerate something in between the two of you but it is still cold it is still working out it is still very fragile okay and you're releasing some things and it says move forward with you know less or least resistance as possible so if you see that there's pushback either from other you know another party of this you know is about someone else or there's pushback in terms of maybe the energy then you, you possibly know maybe you need to take a different route pray about it I, i'm not exactly sure this also this card talks about releasing emotional baggage so this is really like holistically delving into you and what you have not done back to healing work i think last week we had a lot of readings about healing 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 do the healing work okay because you've got something good coming in but it won't come until you heal because it would be irresponsible of the universe god spirit whatever you like to call a universe energy it would be irresponsible of a spirit to bring you your person right and you're not healed it's just not going to work. And spirit doesn't work like that. They're not in the business of being irresponsible. So heal first, then get your person, your dream job or career or business or get your family back together. I don't know, but you need to do some healing work and then things will start to open up for you. Opportunities will present themselves, but you know, the universe is saying not before you heal. Uh, this is also, again, doing some energetic work such as uh, meditation or yoga. Um, I know I am uh, learning about the uh, Kundalini uh, yoga, which is uh, phenomenal. So I don't know. Take your time to uh, look into that. Um, it says that soon, once you start to do the work, you're going to see what lies ahead because there is something great happening for you. So many doors opening for your Aquarius, especially if you do the work but if you're not going to do the work then you know whatever that take that up between you and whom or whatever you believe in it also says in terms of career business the golden arrow focus on a specific target so you need to ask yourself what is the end game what is the end result everybody wants to start a business everybody wants to be a chief nobody wants to be an indian right what does that look like for you what is the target what is the end result you know of you owning your own business and what are you doing it for because if it's just about money then we know that money without a purpose is materialism so we want to have a purpose for our money whether it is to you know reach backwards um or it is for the next generation coming you know after us or whatnot but you need to have purpose and everything that you do back to being intentional and in everything that you you set your foot in. That's all the universe wants us to be. Be intentional so you don't you don't run into obstacle. All right. And uh, golden rule says uh, focus on a specific target. Maybe some of you have your hands in so many different things and you're trying to start this and this, start that and then this. Nothing ever gets finished. Nothing ever gets done. Um, I know those are the same thing, but um, also it's just like you it's a busy body type of energy it sounds good and you're all over the place and you've got so many ideas and you could do this and you could do that and that's great but some of these things need to be hobbies and then some of them or at least one of them can be monetized and you can put your energy effort towards it to actually um for it to actually sustain you and also you offer something to other people whether it be product or service but you need to um you need to focus here because you're kind of like, and then I can do this and then I can do that. Then I can fly. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, and then in terms of, uh, your success cards, uh, who are you? This, uh, this one to come out first, uh, Robert L Johnson. So he started a BET 
I think in 1991 or a little bit before that, um, it talks about overlooked markets. Something is staring you right in your face, Aquarius. Some of you could be in the music industry or some type of industry where you, it is public or you're on TV or you're a public figure or something like that. But some overlooked, untapped market is staring you right in the face and you need to kind of um, open your eyes so you can see it or jump into it. It's not always about going into what is the happening thing right now, but it is about looking around you and seeing what can you tap into. Also understand that your network is your net worth. Okay. So be around other people who are doing things, who are striving like-minded individuals. Um, then we have Christine Lagarde. Um, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, she was the president of, um, I think Francis uh, bank, um, world bank or something like that. Um, Anyhow, she was a hard worker, a really good negotiator. She negotiated on behalf of the people to um, get settlement and debt forgiveness and so forth and help and, pro and programs to help the people. I think when France was going through that um, bankruptcy or tough time in terms of, you know, uh, their country. But anyhow, she what she stands for is hard work. Um, she also talks about, you know, um, in terms of her, it is over time, you know, um, the wounds will heal. Some of you back to what I was talking about with finances, maybe some of you weren't so great in the past with finances, hence France wasn't great with their finances, right? So they fell into turmoil or they fell into just, you know, bankruptcy and maybe you, that happened for you or that is happening for you, but time will heal that wound here. Um, it, it also says, uh, let he who is without debt throw the first shade, right? So we all have debt in some manner, whether it was, some of us have, have a large debts and some have small, um, but also with the finances card, it's talked about paying off debt. So some of you are getting to a place of maybe you're getting help with paying off debt. So you're just getting your financial house in order. I think you're getting a lot in order Aquarius from healing emotional baggage, your wounds, giving yourself more love, your finances being true to you because you're getting a, a life partner, like a soulmate, a twin flame life partner. And the universe wants you to be ready, you know, holistically, completely. They don't want any area of your life lacking because that could cause issue or lack of confidence, um, self-esteem issue. Uh, the word is right on the tip of my tongue. I know somebody's out there saying it. Um, everybody uses it all the time insecurity insecurity in terms of your relationship you know if you go into the relationship with a mound of debt and your person doesn't have any debt you know you're gonna feel a little funny right um if you go into the relationship and you have all this emotional baggage and you're always bringing up when they did and they and i remember when and, and i'm still hurt and that triggers me and, and it's just like oh your person may say well are you are you ready for this you might not be ready um so it's about getting yourself ready aquarius okay do the work do the work can't stress it enough uh steven spielberg okay um take your medium to the maximum okay um he was rejected from a number of film schools and then before the age of 30 he went on to produce well direct um jaws you know, uh, you know box office uh hit you know he made a lot of money he was a you know, multi-millionaire by 30 years old um so you may have something a good idea um maximize it you know put it out there um the sky is not the limit it is the set what uh what this card is saying so um dream big and some of your dreams are big um it's time to really put yourself out there back to uh, be true to you aquarius so right now what we're going to do is start to clarify with the tarot um we're going to clarify uh what do you need to release aquarius um, and that card was really about energetic work. It was just about you healing, emotional baggage. You might even need to say sorry to someone or someone needs to say sorry to you. You got King of Cups, so you need to get balanced in your emotions. Okay. So he is the King of emotional balance. So this King has, um, mastered, uh, em emotional, um, 
has mastered his emotions, right? Or her emotions. Therefore, they know which emotion to draw from in every situation. And they don't let their emotions govern them. And they aren't, you know, moved easily um, by adversity and, you know, emotional outbursts. You would rarely, if ever, see that from a king of cups because they are emotionally balanced. And um, they are emotionally uh, mature. This is also um, learning how to express your emotions. You might need to release the baggage that you've held, you know, pent up. So you might need to get some help in terms of, because this could even talk about therapists or therapy, um, something therapeutic. I could talk about the doctor. Um, you might need to even talk to someone here so that you can move forward with re uh, least resistance as possible. Okay. Balance your emotions out. Let's clarify finances. All right, finances. The three of pentacles, so definitely working together. This card also, with the finances card, talked about um, be cautious of, you know, entering into business deals and contracts and signing, you know, things with other people. The three of pentacles talks about working together, teamwork, making it work. So um, it talks about paperwork also. So some of you need to really look over that. Um, you need to look over, um, you know, going into business with others. If um, this is what you are actually doing, make sure it's feasible for you. Make sure that the money looks right for you. Make sure that you will be getting something out of this. Make sure that it just makes sense, right? All right, so the more love and care Aquarius gives themselves, the more love they have to give to others. So what is this about for Aquarius? The seven of pentacles. Yeah, being passive, okay? Maybe in relationships, marriage, um, letting people build accounts with you and then kind of um, snapping out. Uh, you need to address everything uh, right when it happens or right when you feel a certain way. Don't let people build an account with you and then you, you spaz out on them for everything that they they have done over the past, you know, a month or so or six months. So deal with situations as they come. Seven of Pentacles also says, uh, finish what you start. It says that harvest is here. There might be a period of no activity or very little activity between you and a love partner. It can come off as frustration or you getting frustrated with the process, but trust the process here. Uh, this is Saturn, okay, and Saturn comes into our lives to um, teach us the hard, tough lesson, and it might just be that, once again, you need to give more love to yourself because you're always projecting it outward because Aquarius is a masculine sign, so Aquarius is always doing, giving, you know, projecting outwards, thinking, all that masculine energy there. Um, so you need to start to pour it back in what we talked about, write that list of things that you do to show other people how much you love them, care for them. And once you get that list going, you need to keep that list with you because you'll do at least one to two of those things, one to two of those things for yourself each and every day. So you can give more love, uh, back to yourself so that you have even more love to give to other people because you can get so depleted being a masculine sign, always giving. All right. And you just need to learn something here um, with the seven of pentacles here. Something is not over. Um, I heard it's not over between you and me. All right. Um, the golden arrow. Let's clarify the golden arrow and then we'll get on out of here. All right. The golden arrow. What does Aquarius need to focus on? The golden arrow. The golden arrow. Okay. The high priestess is high priestess. <laughs> um the universe is whispering something to you, Aquarius. Are you listening? The high priestess says, uh, you know, this whisper can be with you for a lifetime until you choose to listen. Um, maybe that you need to focus. A decision needs to be made when the high priestess shows up and you know it. Uh, this could even be about maybe which path are you going to take? The high priestess governs the two. So that would be two of cups, two of wands. Uh, two of Swords, uh, Two of Pentacles, all about a decision, all about juggling, doing two different things at the same time, making it look effortless and easy, knowing that a decision needs to be made, knowing that something fits you perfectly, but you're going to have to decide where where you're going to put all your energy, effort, time into um, 
two of wands in that you found some financial security or you found security but one of these things is going to dominate the other especially in terms of career and finance so a decision has to be made which way are you going where where is the focus where's the target here because the target keeps moving or you just haven't decided where you're going to put all your energy your focus your effort into we definitely have a relationship showing up now because i'm looking at the bottom of the deck and we have the queen of cups with the king of cups so a lot of love between you and a particular person but it is again the fall or the autumn in the relationship right now with the seven of pentacles so it could be a rebuilding it's not over but it is definitely tough lesson learn release or relinquish reevaluate and then moving forward so Aquarius this is what I have for you I hope that it resonates for you um, a really dynamic reading nothing bad it's just more so um, again fixing you uh, let me know how it resonates for you let me know how your list works out for you okay um, if you want to get your own personal reading go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link you can catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you aquarius many blessings to you take care